This video is sponsored by Cohen Financial. More on them later. There are three things I really don't like about this property. But then there are three things I love about this property. I will share that with you in about three to five minutes. And if you watch to the end, I will tell you how I would have marketed this property differently. So hopefully it would have sold faster for a higher price. All right, before I tell you three things I really don't like about this property, I'm gonna tell you three things I really like about the property. But first things first, let's go over the basics. The address is 1005 Whitland Drive, Beverly Hills, north of Sunset, seven bedrooms, nine bath, 12,200 square foot of living space, and about 49,915 square foot of land in Beverly Hills, north of Sunset, and it could be yours for $32.5 million. That price is at around $2,659 a square foot. Let's get the show started. Three things I absolutely love about this property. Number three, lot utilization. Look at the frontage, very generous side setbacks, huge backyard, and the tennis court is all the way at the end of the property. It just makes sense, very generous. I really like the way the house sits on the lot, and that's my number three. All right, the second thing I really love about this property is is the scale architectural style and the volume of these rooms. This is a Tudor architecture and Tudors are not known to have great volumes and big rooms and high ceilings. This one does, which makes it a great candidate for ultra high-end renovation because this property is in Beverly Hills north of Sunset and you can call it a delicacy for a Tudor house to be completely done up. It will totally stand out because there's almost no product like that in the market today in Beverly Hills. And it could catch its own unique buyer in some way or form, right? Now, the number one thing I absolutely love about this property is having 1.15 acres, 49,915 square foot, according to the listing agents, a flat land in Beverly Hills, north of Sunset. And the setting, how lush it is. It's very park-like grounds. I like the dimensions of the lot. It opens up towards the end, and I think it's fantastic. Now, before I get all negative and tell you what I don't like about the property, let me share with you someone I really like to work with, Mark Cohen. I use Mark Cohen for my own loans, and I always recommend them for all my clients to get their loans from him. Why? Because he's creative, and he knows how to get loans in difficult times. He understands the challenges of today with high rates. Not just he offers great rates, but also he gets tough jobs done, and that's why I love working with him. Here's his phone number. Give him a call and tell him Arvin sent you. All right, three things I absolutely don't like about this property. Number three, look, they've had all this land to work with and they decided to make a northeast facing property. I don't think that is a positive. They could have repositioned this property differently to have the property facing south and get a lot more natural sunlight, right? Now, the second thing I really don't like about this property is the empty lot right next to it. That is a negative and I will tell you guys why. Look, at some point, someone's gonna build a mega mansion right there. And guess how long it takes to build one of these things. So imagine spending $32.5 million and you have three, four years of construction next to you. That is a negative. Before you purchase this property, you should look on the city records, see if permits have been applied on this land for new construction to be built or not, because that will tell you if at least immediately you're going to have a project next to you or not. Now, the number one thing I absolutely don't like about this property. By the way, before I tell you this stuff, how do I know all this stuff? I'm Arvin Hedot. I'm a real estate agent by day and a consultant, a creator by nighttime. You can reach out to me directly if you have any questions about real estate. If you can't sell your own house, I can work with your real estate agent as an advisor. I can help you find the right real estate agent anywhere in the world. I'm here for you. Here's my contact information. You can contact me anytime. Now, the number one thing I don't like about this property is the location of this lot. Yes, it's Beverly Hills north of Sunset, which is amazing. It's the best neighborhood ever, right? But it's on Rexford and Coldwater. Don't let the address fool you because this property is actually on one of the busiest streets. This is the main artery connecting the valley to Beverly Hills, Coldwater Canyon, and this Rexford Drive right here is very, very busy. Now, there's a lot of things that might click on your head that if they would have used the lot on the other side, they would have been south facing, but then maybe the backyard would have had more noise from Rexford, so maybe it is a good thing it's north facing. This is all the things that you need to put in calculation before deciding if you wanna purchase this house. Now, let me tell you how I would have marketed this property differently. Staging. Look, the color palette here is all brown. You need to have fresher furniture in here. I'm assuming this is actually their original furniture for the people who have lived there right now. They should take this furniture out and stage it because it will make a huge impact. 
The house is actually recently some somewhat renovated. It's not completely dated, but the furniture make it look older. A little bit lighter finishes. The color palette is just so off, right? It's all brown, brown, brown. The floors are brown. There's a lot of natural wood. It's just too much brown. We need a little bit more freshness, a little bit more contemporary design in furniture. It will certainly help to sell this property faster. Now, the second thing I would have done differently, I would have not accepted this listing at this price. You know why? Because there's no comps to support it. You have the Rexford busy situation right up front. You also have a property that appears like it hasn't been staged and the original furniture is there, which is also a negative. It's not going to help it sell faster. So I would have recommended a lower price. Now, if you want to know how much I would have paid for myself or my clients for this property, you can book a direct consulting call with me. The link is in the description below or in the bio right above me. Now, let me ask you a question. How much do you think this property is actually worth? Did you know that if you don't like or subscribe, the algorithm is just not going to show my videos to you or the people who would be similar to you who would like this type of content. It's completely free. I would appreciate if you press the subscribe button. Only 20% of my viewers are subscribers. I would like to improve that number, right? Now, do you agree with this marketing strategy? Tell me in the comments below. I would love to read how you would have marketed this property differently so it would have sold faster for a higher price. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh, if you like this video, you will probably also like this video. So make sure to watch that one.